And that takes a lot when we get to the fifth floor to still be dedicated to working out, making sure our body is still on point. Because I just got to the fifth floor. So. Well, I figured out somewhere along the line that it, there's like a part of it I want to look good. Part of it I want to be strong because I'm insecure. Mm -hmm. But there's also part of it that I realize that I can be my best person when I can control my own demons. Mm. And the way I control my own demons is I, I have to like conquer them. I conquer them. I don't want to work out. I force myself to. Wow. And I force myself to push myself like, and it's not like a lot of like heavyweight stuff that makes you look good. It's a lot of painful shit. Like it's a lot of rounds in the bag and like Tabata sprints on the Airdyne bike and shit like that. That's what I like to do. I like to do shit where I don't like to do it when I'm doing it, but I like how I feel after it's over. And that's what ruthless workouts do. They make you a more peaceful person. And I know that there's people that are afraid of them and they're afraid of people that are ahead of them because they feel like those people are going to be mean to them. But it's not it's not the case. Like you gotta you gotta embrace struggle, and not struggle like unnecessary struggle or a horrible struggle or you know you got cancer or your family's poor. And that's not what I mean. I mean embrace difficult tasks. Mm. Like dig in, dig in, and then once you got some momentum, like you're a Snoop Dogg. One of the things that I admire about you is you're so active. You do so many different things. You're always moving. You're doing commentary. You're making new albums. You're touring. You're doing commercials. You're doing movies. You've, you're, and you're you professionally.